Our piano is a lifestyle. Where does it come from? South Africa as well. We are good in South Africa. <laughs> it's chill, but it's also dope. And it's a genre that comes from South Africa, made by South Africans. It's kind of like a prayer without it being a prayer. Anybody can make it, especially from where we come from, you know? I'm a piano to the world, it's ticking all over the world. 2020, als wir uns alle im Lockdown befanden, wurde ein neues Musikgenre aus Südafrika weltweit bekannt, Ama Piano. Diese Mischung aus Deep House, Jazz und traditionellen Percussions wurde vor allem auf Social Media verbreitet. Wie Afrobeats, der nigerianische Pop, wurde auch Amapiano über Nacht eine globale Musik, deren Klänge und Tanz man leicht erkennt. Über ihre Bedeutung wissen wir eher weniger. Klar ist, dass diese Musik aus südafrikanischen Townships stammt und mit der Spiritualität und Geschichte des Landes verbunden ist. Das ist die südafrikanische Tänzerin Andy Dlamini. Sie gibt in Paris Tanzunterricht. Amapiano hat heute stark kodierte Choreografien, die genauso beliebt sind wie die Klänge, auf die sie getanzt werden. A Zulu tradition is inspired by that. We have 11 official languages and we have so many tribes, so yeah, it also incorporates into Ama Piano. In a majority of the tribes in South Africa, it's really appealing for when a woman is dancing to have a charm in her face. It's not even about the body, just the charm. And I think this, we've, we've taken that essence and put it in Ama Piano. Because when we dance, I don't know if you've noticed, but we always have this kind of confidence and we have this, you know, this kind of look like, You know, that kind of vibe, we get it from the traditional dancers and how a woman should be confident and how people should be confident in general. Just do it and you close your eyes or you look up and you make a crazy face and you do the chest. So it's just like a move to be silly, just to be silly and be in a vibe. So I feel like I have like a wide spectrum. I have these teenagers, pre preteen pre-adolescent, so it's like a really mix of like all ages. <laughs> uh, in South Africa, you know, there's, there's people who believe in spirituality, in ancestors, and some of those people do music, they create songs. There's one by Gabza the Small, Enini, it means a lot. So what he's talking about in the song is like, He's asking God, the higher power, I also want to have a lot of money. I also want to be successful. I am asking for the strength that I need to fulfill my path. You gave me this idea and now I need you to like get me to that point. So some people sing about God, some people sing about ancestors, some people sing about the universe, higher power, they don't really mention who it is. Andy sagt, dass sich sowohl die Choreografien als auch die Texte auf den Alltag in den armen Vierteln beziehen. Die Bevölkerung dort ist auch nach Ende der Apartheid hauptsächlich schwarz. Es geht oft um Geldprobleme, aber immer mit Humor. I don't have Don Perignon, Ace of Spades, Moet Chandon. I don't have it. Me, Heineken. I have it. I have the money for Heineken. So I'm just gonna Henke, 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 Ace of Spades, Agnai. Okay, so the girl is just talking about taking it back 
to base it. If you have your lunettes, put your lunettes. I want to see something. Amaviano is a social style. It's a style that we use to share and to connect with others. It's a practice that we we dance this thing together at social events or to socialize with other people. So at weddings, birthday parties, during our breaks, um, during school studying, just a way to, to be happy in the moment and share. Dance helps me to like stop being shy. It's easier to just say what I want to say with my dance. I can be who I really, really, really want to be and really, really have fun. Yeah. Amma Piano ist trotz des sehr langsamen Tempos eine echte Partymusik, denn es verbindet Deep House mit Kwaito. Kwaito glich einer Revolution. Der südafrikanische Hip-Hop entstand kurz nach Ende der Apartheid 1994 in den Slums der Großstädte. Damit wurde die Freiheit gefeiert. Ein neues Gouvernement. Alors on a commencé à chanter à propos de tout et de n'importe quoi, à propos des fêtes, des filles et des belles voitures, parce qu'on pouvait enfin conduire. Siva ist ein südafrikanischer DJ, der seit acht Jahren in Paris lebt. Er erklärt, inwiefern Kwaito eine Inspiration für Amapiano war. On Kwaito. We have the way the way this girl is singing right now. As a producer, like we took that yeah. and then we we went to Deep House because mm -hmm. Deep House is more like slow in tempo. We need something special to make it more unique. So that's when now we added the lock drum. Lock drum is this sound. It's like a bass la a bass line and the momentum of the sound. So it's the one that is hitting and giving like the momentum, you know. But what does it so, sound like? So it's like the hard... <coughs> you can recognize it with the BPM, first of all, tempo. Yeah. This one is one, uh, almost 120 BPM. Okay. Now I'll play 113 okay. to tell the difference. That's my piano. <laughs> Can you tell? Yeah. The way it's so slow and yeah. uh, there we were like one, two, three. Here it's boom, 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 boom. The counts are yeah. different. Kwaito entstand in den 90ern von und für Südafrikaner. In den 2010er Jahren schuf eine neue DJ-Generation den Ama Piano. Scheinbar war der Begriff zunächst abwertend gemeint. Es war ein Wortspiel, mit dem man sich über die Monotonie der Musik lustig machte. Um, it's something like a lot, it's a Zulu word actually. And then after you left with piano, as in like the normal piano. Mm. It means a lot of piano. Yes. <lacht> okay. Siba sagt, dass heute, wo man diese Musik überall hört, ausländische DJs dazu neigen, sie zu verfälschen. I go to the club, I hear like the, the, the sound, sound not exactly like the original one. So most of them, they don't respect the bass. Okay. They, they, they want they want my piano to be more like faster than the original BPM. But as long as they, they know where it comes from and they know the culture about mm. it, it's, it's very important, you know? Because mm. for us, it's important like, mm -hmm. as well, like it's not just my piano. Mm. In Zulu, There's some words that are really touching, you know, for us, because... Yeah, it's deeply rooted. It's deep, yeah, you understand, yeah. so... Ama Piano is a new sound that can relate or connect to the new generation, but not so far from the old generation as well. So it can connect to any uh, South African, or right now it connects to everybody. So it contributed to really put South Africa into the map. So that's what I'm proud of. 
Amapiano ist eine Musik, deren Künstlerinnen und Künstler nicht unbedingt zu Stars werden, selbst wenn man ihre Songs überall spielt. Carmo Mpela ist eine der wenigen Ausnahmen. Die Königin des Amapiano wurde zunächst als Tänzerin bekannt. I personally adore Carmen Pella. She's a pioneer, she's a woman in Amapiano. And she's one of the people who mixed Amapiano music with the dance. Ihr berühmtester Song heißt Dali. Carmen Mpela hat Tanzschritte entwickelt, die von allen übernommen wurden, wie die Pouncing Cat. Sie wuchs in Soweto auf, einem Slum im Süden von Johannesburg, wo diese Musik entstand. Heute Abend tritt sie hier auf. Ich traf sie während der Proben mit ihrer Tanztruppe vor dem Konzert. Ich habe Piano in 2017. Ich würde nicht sagen, wo mein Piano originiert from. Because obviously all of us are trying to take credit for it back at home. Uh, some people say Alex, some people say Soero. There's just different pockets that people obviously want to give credit to. I went viral only in 2019 because it started having a lot of vocalists on it. And then that's when I also started becoming one of the leading vocalists in 2019. Einige Monate später wurde ihr angeboten, am Soundtrack von Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever mitzuwirken. So wurde Carmo Mpela als Sängerin international bekannt. The Black Panther Production Team wanted me on the soundtrack, so they flew us to Nigeria, myself, Young Stana and Devin Gogo, to record the song there. Yeah, and basically we just came together in the studio. We were there for like two days and we recorded like four tracks and out of the four three were chosen it's obviously going to mean the world to me because it, cha it legit changed my life i mean i went from a normal soero girl township girl into a global superstar we never thought it would get this big to be quite honest yeah <laughs> I think for now, I'm not where I want to be, so I'm still good, I'm still good. Not Beyonce per se, but yeah, somewhere along those lines, legends, you know? Mein Interesse am Amapiano rührt daher, weil wir dazu neigen, neue Musik zu hören, ohne wirklich zuzuhören. Dabei gehen diese kulturellen Bewegungen mit einer Geschichte einher, die uns etwas von dem Ort, von dem sie stammen, vermitteln. Diese Künstlerinnen und Künstler sind alle stolz darauf, dass Südafrika im Glanz dieser neuen Szene strahlt. Und sie wollen, dass wir die spirituelle Kraft anerkennen und den Vibe spüren. Amapiano is a lifestyle came about when it started going viral. People started saying that, and I think they said it to protect the essence of the fact that it's not just a trend. It means that this is something that you listen to even when you're not dancing. It means that this is something that you learn, like a dance move that you learn and not forget that there's, there's more where that came from. <laughs> 